over Ohio State in a match that Coach Sheffield says may have been one of the worst of the season. Courtney with a dig. Franti tries to terminate, but the block is there for Wisconsin, Carlini, and Thompson. And the other interesting thing to note is that the team that has been touted as the less physical team is out blocking Penn State now 4-1. to one. It's coming off the best performance team blocks from last night. 18 and a half blocks for Wisconsin. That's a season best. Simone Lee was just inserted into the match for Penn State. She played in the first two matches between these teams and actually led Penn State with 12 kills. She had a team high kills in that first match. Has not been playing as much as of late, but Coach said... We won't be afraid to bring players in off the bench to beat Wisconsin if that's necessary. She is physically strong, great natural blocker, according to Russ Rose, and that is the third service error for Micah Hancock here today. Controlling the emotions. We said it would be important for Wisconsin. I think it's important for Penn State as well. Look at Micah Hancock, who took the center of the year honors for the Big Ten the last two seasons. Carlini coming in and taking that trophy away from her. Well deserved for Carlini and company. Again, they took the lion's share of the awards this season in the Big Ten, but as you said, the emotions, they're there. Here's the Hancock set to the player who was just inserted into the game. She has no time to think about it as Simone Lee gets that ball. As if there's not enough on the line, Simone Lee also has a little motion motivation in the fact that she's from the state of Wisconsin and playing against the Badgers here today, her hometown Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. She rotates out. Megan Courtney, the solo block. Megan Courtney, a great job out there on the left side, reaching in on this one as once again the idea is to try to create some looks here for Haley Washington with speed. So setting her something quick behind, trying to run away from the middle blocker, she does that and Megan Courtney stuffs her. The block comes up there by Megan Courtney and the miss hit by Nia Grant. Mike Hancock to Nia Grant, the two unanimous All Big Ten selections in their senior season. You don't see a miss between those two very often. Laney back to serve. And a service error. And again, not getting a lot of amplitude, not getting a lot off of the push on that foot. Anytime you're favoring one side. It just really throws everything off. Especially when you go back to serve, you almost have a little more time to think about it. Up at the net, she's just jumping and blocking. The service line thinks slow down. Megan Courtney again on the block. And it's coming alive here for Penn State in step two. Well, Wisconsin trying so desperately to keep it out of the range of the middle blockers who are so big and physical. But Megan Courtney says, uh, don't bring that over here. She's doing a great job protecting that left antenna. Bounds. And for Wisconsin, it's the five foot eleven Kelly Bates getting the best of six foot four Ayanna Whitney out here on this antenna. And Kelly Bates goes up and just swings down the line, gets the edge of that block. Second on the team, almost three kills per set. Double figures in eighteen matchups this year. Ayanna Whitney on the right side. Wisconsin 31 and 2, 19 and 1 in the Big Ten. Big Ten champs. Only loss in the Big Ten coming at the hands of Penn State. And that's another swing by Courtney Thomas from the right side. That time it looks like it lands out of bounds, but it won't matter because the line judge immediately motions a touch on the block. So if the ball touches the blocker's hands before landing out of bounds, that is a point for the attacker. Megan Courtney denied this time. That time again, Courtney Thomas, who's really just turning in a complete performance. You know, in your senior season, you hope that you can play your best volleyball at the end of your career. I think Courtney Thomas is certainly accomplishing that. More kills, three blocks for her. Over the block goes Megan Courtney. Megan Courtney, no. Out of bounds it goes. It's Wisconsin trying to keep it alive. But look 
look at the effort. This ping pong play, it looked like they were almost going to score a point on that. That is exactly what Coach Sheffield told us they were going to have to do. He said, you know, this is a physical Penn State team. We're going to have to be gritty. We're going to have to get down and dirty. The game plan was to keep it away from Washington, try to force Penn State to go onto their pins. Back set. Washington there on the slide. You know, Penn State realizes the need to get Washington involved here in the second set. She was not a factor in the first set. Here early on in the second set, Micah Hancock finding her freshman Big Ten Player of the Year. And the tip over the block goes Courtney Thomas. And she is shining bright under these lights here in Louisville. Courtney Thomas, who had struggled against Penn State, just making up for lost ground, that is for sure. Five kills here today. Serve, making Courtney again. Take by Maury. Back set, Thompson, yes! Dominique Thompson. Coach calls her lightning, calls Haley Nelson thunder. These are two very different middles. It's just one more challenge for Lauren Carlini. She has to learn how to make each player better. That means delivering a ball that allows them to be successful. It's Thompson, it's a very fast ball. And for a moment there, Simone Lee was looking for a call, but it will go down. Call up to the fingertips. The kill goes down. Back to serve now is Dominique Gonzalez. Point edge here. It's set two for Penn State. And it goes long for Thompson. They are keeping the line judge busy as they try to paint that back line. Several close balls, but he's doing a great job. Thompson on the slide, Carlini on the set, lands on one foot, you notice, comes down only landing on the right foot. Thompson out there on that pen. Sheffield said doesn't know if there's a middle as short as her in the lead. As you see Simone Lee coming alive here, did not see her yesterday, but certainly a factor off the bench here today. Not only is she bringing her A game, she's bringing some energy to this Penn State team as well. Big celebration for her. She averages just over two kills per set on the season. That's one thing about this freshman class. They have certainly brought energy to this Penn State team. Hancock pushes it out to Lee, and Lee terminates. She is on fire, feeling it for Simone Lee. Taking advantage of the opportunity when her number is called of making an immediate impact on this match. A 4-1 run for the Nittany Lions. Just over the net tape. Goes to serve by Hancock. Dig by Gonzalez. Good ball control. Block is there for Wisconsin and Kelly Bates. Are you kidding me? Kelly Bates, not even six feet tall, goes up really takes care of that one, but look at the serve of Hancock. That's an ace on most teams. Let me tell you, Taylor Moore making a great diving effort to keep that one up. She has to serve Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, and that play showing why. You see Iona Whitney go over the block. Hancock to lead. Just a roll shot. Picked up by Morey. And they'll try again, this time with a little bit more behind it. Gets it to go off the fingertips. Forcing Penn State to dig deep. Look at this play by Wisconsin. Keeping it alive. And then Maury using the foot. Yes, it's legal. You can use the foot. Great play by Taylor Maury. Coach Sheffield calls Taylor Maury a gum chewer. Somebody with a little bit of attitude. Somebody with a little bit of chip on their shoulder. He says every team needs one of those. They got it in their libero. And Kelly Bates, a freshman, she has been very impressive here in Louisville. 
coach said she didn't look like the youngest player. Again, Carlini down on one foot. Wow, she's favoring it. But I tell you what, her teammates are helping her out. They play like that from Bates. Coach said last night Bates did not look like the youngest player on the floor. She certainly doesn't look like the youngest player on the floor tonight. Carlini with a dig throughout the play. Hancock sends it over to Megan Courtney. Over dig. Gonzalez there to set Megan Courtney. Attack here. Her first of the day. We expected a dogfight out here today, and boy, it has lived up to the hype so far. Wisconsin with a first set, and Penn State battling to take this second set. Bates into the block. Great save again by Carlini, who was all over the place. They've been looking for that here in the second set. The freshman, Dynamite. That is really the first really good taste of Haley Washington that the Badgers have had to face in this meeting here. They didn't see her in the first one, but in the second one, they're getting a little feel for the Big Ten freshman of the year. What a big swing down the middle. as advertised for this matchup, for the rematch of last year's national championship match, Missy. This one is certainly lived up to, to be all we expected and a little bit more. Block and the antenna, so the call will go the other way. Wisconsin with a point. The attack, then the block. In the antenna, so out of bounds off of Penn State, Point Wisconsin. Bates back to serve. It's a game high seven points on her serves here today so far. Back to the net, go straight to Washington. Courtney, back up by Chapman. And that is going to go wide for Courtney Thomas. A couple big misses for Wisconsin here lately that you just don't expect. And what you have to realize is that a big blocker creates errors. They are very much aware of the fact that Haley Washington is across the net. They're trying to sometimes to create a shot that's just not in your bag of tricks. It's a second attack error for Thomas here today. Free ball. A dig by Gonzalez. Megan Courtney dug up by Bates. Chapman, no. Washington on the slide, dug up by Bates. Megan Courtney on the right side, and Maury could not get there in time. Carlini tries a deep one to the corner there, but the Penn State libero is all over it. Look at this dig by Gonzalez. So glad to have an opportunity to highlight her. This is a perfect mixture of both young talent and experience. And Dominique Gonzalez is part of the experience on this team. She is a senior who is so consistent for this team all the time. In 129, Wisconsin 172. Wisconsin out blocking Penn State 6-3. Chapman denied. Hancock across the front row. Haley Washington in the middle. Close that one up on Ellen Chapman. State trying to widen the gap here. Going on a bit of a run here with Fuller at the service line. And they get her off there. Haley Nelson with a kill. And Wisconsin just really pushing the envelope with the speed of that back set. Trying to get it there in a hurry. Doing everything they can to avoid that big block. With the two kills here today, also the two attack errors. Back set, Washington. She loves painting that back line, doesn't she? She is just so good behind the setter here, young in her career. That's a tight slide. Taking that one right off the setter's head almost splits those blockers as the outside blocker is a bit wide. They adjust that slide, bring it in a little, a little different look. Both kill of the match for Washington. Free ball. Hancock, bad set, slide again, and again, the same result for the freshman. 
Haley Washington starting to feel it. And energy is certainly not an issue with this youngster. Again, off one foot behind the setter. Big celebration. And even as a young player, she really gets the fact that energy is one of her roles on this team. Oh, right there for that swing by Thompson. Thompson will try again and is denied this time by the other freshman, Simone Lee. A 6-1-1 for the Nittany Lions and a timeout called by Wisconsin. Simone Lee here on the outside did not play last night, but making the most of this evening. She is one member of that number one recruiting class in the nation. She has been very terminal here today. Five kills, zero attack errors, hitting 7-14. And of course, it's a lot easier to hit at those high numbers when you are receiving the ball from Micah Hancock. She's, you know, not just a setter on the floor anymore in her senior year, but she's really a manager on the court now. She, her, her distribution is so purposeful. She gets the game, and her delivery can be so deceiving. That is her highlighted at the net. This is last night against UCLA. If you see Haley Washington, the other player in the picture now, Micah just holds that middle blocker long enough. You see the middle blocker jumps with Haley. That opens things up for Washington on the left side. But she has the ability to hold those blockers because she has such a great delivery and because she's so offensive. So she has the ability to do so many different things that she is very, very hard to defend. Well, as associate head coach Selena Rockwell told us, who works with her a lot, said, you know, it, it's her understanding that, hey, I need to set this person now because of this matchup and the why. She says now as the season has gone on, she doesn't even have to tell her as much. She's out there running this team by herself. Yeah, that's what you expect from a senior. And Micah Hancock, she's getting it. The ebb and flow of the game. Setting what you do early sets up what you do later. And she has really become a complete package at the setter position. And if you, Rose has her for the final bit of this season. But you look on the other side for Carlini, and he says, I wouldn't trade Hancock for anything. But uh, next year, I'd like to make a trade for Carlini, as you see her with the set there. If you're a young setter watching this one, take, take out those. your notepad. That's right. These are two of the very best. They've got all the tangibles, but you know what they have? they got that one intangible. These girls are incredibly competitive. Look at Fuller. Keeping it alive for the Nittany Lions. Thompson goal. Smoke it. State doing everything they can to stay alive. There's Fuller again. You know, Mike and Hancock might be the face of women's college volleyball, but Fuller might be the face of Penn State volleyball to some extent. Coaches have told us that you know she's the epitome of a Penn State volleyball player because she goes so hard all the time. Mike and Hancock took that over on two straight at Courtney Thomas. so far in the match. A service error by Dominique Gonzalez. Service errors are problematic for them in the earlier rounds of this one. You see, just getting started here, a fantastic day of volleyball. Just pull up a chair and park it for a while. Those are all going to be some really great matchups. That is your round of eight after today. We will know who has made it to the national semifinal matches. Both teams trading service errors here, and as I was saying, in the state, they had 12 service errors versus Dayton. Coach not pleased. He wasn't pleased with the focus in the first round of the tournament. He said it just wasn't there. It should have been there from the upperclassmen. And he came out. We saw the practice before the regional semis. He wasn't, he wasn't pleased with the focus there, but they came out laser focused versus UCLA yesterday. Goes on the right side right now for Penn State when all else fails. Hang one up high. She can certainly go up and get it. Set point now for the Nippy Lions. Hancock, fourth service error of the day for the senior. But you know, for a lot of people know Micah as a server. And here on a day when her serve has struggled, can she still can she still set her team to success? So perhaps you know the Interesting thing would be if she doesn't serve well. If Penn State could still win, it would say a lot about my guy. Simone Lee and the freshman gives the second set to the Nittany Lions.